I was having a conversation with one of my friends. Sorry if it's really windy. Um, but I was having a conversation with my friend and he was venting to me about how he can't stand the, the PC culture of the world. You know, the political correct culture of the world, the cancel culture of the world. If you believe the opposite of what I believe, that automatically makes you sexist. That automatically makes you a snowflake. That automatically makes you racist. That automatically makes you a bigot. That automatically makes you uh, anti-Semitic. You know, whatever. It always makes you the, 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 the vast end of the spectrum when we just have different views on things. You know what I'm saying? If you love Trump, you're a racist. If you love Biden, you're, you, want, you want all of your rights taken away you know like it's just always something that we need to fight about but one of the things that he was talking about was like how he was like he was wondering was like what causes this split in all of us right what causes this split is like it just it's inevitable that we always split from something right and i was like huh and like i've been thinking about that for the past like half hour and the way that my mind goes i went through the macro i went through the uh, the rabbit hole that led me to the macrocosm microcosm conversation to understand us at a very tiny level, we need to look at the big picture, you know, the macrocosm. And then we need to see how the macrocosm affects the, the, the microcosm, small picture, and see how the small picture affects the big picture, right? So, for those of you that watch my spiritual videos, you guys know that I'm very hippy-dippy. You know what I'm saying? I'm very spiritual. You know, I'm conscious, bro. No third eye open, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, I think the woke community is kind of annoying in certain aspects, but it is what it is. That's my opinion. You know, but when you get on the conscious tip, like, you just start to see the world differently and you question things and you start to get your answers, right? So, one of the things I really thought about was, I know there's a lot of different ways to see how we came into being as human beings on Earth. But for the sake of this example, for the sake of this video, we're just going to say we started off with the Big Bang, the universe. For scientists to agree with that and hippy-dippy people to agree with that. To understand us at a small level, we need to understand the big picture. So if we look at the universe, we exhibit traits from the universe. So what traits does the universe have? Number one, it's... It, it exhibits itself by expansion. It's a constant state of expansion. It's always growing. You know what I'm saying? When the Big Bang happened, boom, you're in space. How do you slow down in space? You don't. Space is infinite for, to our knowledge, to our understanding. And you just keep on going and going and going forever, right? But then also, it needs division for growth. It started off as one concentrated ma mass of energy, whatever, explosion, something happened, blah, 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 blah. And eventually, the planets came into being, right? So... After that, you have to look at us. Like we, so if we have come from a parent material, aka all the space dust, then we were going to exhibit exhi uh, exhibit traits from our parents. Now you can look at this as space dust, but then also look at us at our at our parents, right? Our parents, we we come from the you know when our dads shoot us out, when our moms shoot us out. From both sides, we take the traits from the people that shot us out. <laughs> it is what it is, right? That's why we have traits from our mom and dad, whether you know them. Whether you like them, whether you hate them, you're going to exhibit traits from your parents. From your parent material, the universe, we're going to exhibit traits of constant expansion and splitting from growth. Okay, you follow me? So then come back down to the parent level. When we come out of our mom, you know, we, the, 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 earth, the egg is fertilized, you know, we are going to go through mitosis that we learned in school, which is when our cells split, 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 split. We go from two cells to four cells to eight to 16 to 32 to 64 to 128 whatever <laughs> you know what i mean and then what happens is we see this at the microcosmic level for us to grow and to expand we need to split okay so this go now we're going to start to go to the big picture here let's look at earth right earth came from the big bang quote quote so earth came from the big bang and for us hippies we think that earth is a living being it's a it's a living being you know it sweats it gets sick it heals itself you know it gets rid of the bacteria <laughs> you know what I'm saying, aka us you know through very hot weather through crazy weather all that type of stuff it does what it does you know and only the strong survive just like how virus is in our body a strong virus is not going to get taken out by some advil you see what I'm saying? You know, it's like you're going to need something a little bit different if you feel the need to put, you know, modern medicine into your body. Anywho, <laughs> right? So, when you look at the earth, it started off as Pangea, when all the continents were together. Then eventually over time, they split through like, you know, like, you know, earthquakes and, and fault lines, blah, blah, blah. The, 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 the continents expanded and now we have different, you know, different growth here and there, blah, 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 blah. 
you know, we had different plants in certain areas. You know, it, it couldn't have grown. If all that land mass was in one area, if it wasn't over here, these plants wouldn't be able to grow. This soil formation wouldn't be able to grow. So that's why I had to grow in different directions to exhibit growth in a different place. So how do we do this? Well, we, we grow in our physical bodies and we grow also, yeah, my hair has some movement. <laughs> and then we grow into like, you know, in the, in the mental capacities, in our physical, in our uh, spiritual capacities. You see what I'm saying? But then you start to get into geopolitical so we can like, you know, step step forward a little bit later. In our geopolitics, you know, how like, you know, countries were starting to rule at a certain point. We had the Greeks, the Romans, we had the, you know, the 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 uh, the Chinese, the Ming Zi, Zhang dynasties, all this type of stuff. You know, we have Egypt that was running things at a certain point, the Moors, you know, we got the the Indians, you know, all the or like, you know, not necessarily the Indians, but I'm gonna give you a quick little thought on that. Um, but you know what I'm saying? We had all these type of things. So like how did Genghis Khan's empire eventually end up splitting up and splitting up and splitting up? How did different countries form? You see what I'm saying? Of course, there's a history book that says this and that and blah, 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 blah. But how did they form? Well, if you have a whole group of people that literally in their DNA, how we came into being is to split, to grow. Well, it only makes sense that when you get a whole bunch of people in one big circle, eventually there's going to be a split where certain people start to think a certain type of way here. The people that are closest to the, uh, the, 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 the we'll just use the country's capital, you know, the people that are closest to the country's capital are going to think the way that the capital does. And the people on the outskirts are going to think a different way. Then over time, they get the, they get the, like, you know, people on the outskirts, like, will group up and they'll start to, like, revolt or, like, act a certain type of way against the, the main, the main city, if you will. I'm just using broad examples here. And then the, blah 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 they start to bicker and batter blah 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 they either wore it out or they have peace and now we have different countries we have different uh property lines all that type of stuff so let's use this example real quick in america how do countries split how do reigns how do all this type of stuff inevitably split up how does it inevitably like fall apart you know and when you look at the countries, when you look at America, we came over here. Well, not we, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> they came over here, and we had the 13 colonies. All right? We had the 13 colonies. Then they got comfortable, blah, 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 blah. But then, like, the in the way history tells it, like, the slave conversation came up. Oh, the North didn't like slaves. The South didn't like... or. The North didn't like slaves. The slaves, the, the South liked slaves. I think there's more to that story, as, as most people that look into history know. But we'll keep it simple for now. And then, eventually... You know, actually, you know, a quick side note, I'm sorry, I know, quick soapbox moment, you know, countries fall because of lies, you know, and when you, like, when you have a, like a, when you're based off of a lie, that's just like a crappy foundation. We have a crappy foundation, nothing can stand on it eventually. It might stand for a little bit, but eventually it's going to fall because people are going to start waking up to the truth. You know, we have Christopher Columbus that discovered America even though there were Indians here. Indian people came from indigo because the first people that he saw here were blue-black. Then they say that he discovered something when people were here. But then they say that he was the first one even though there was Sir Francis Drake, I believe is his name, that was here beforehand. Not necessarily America that we know, like North America, but he was in the Americas before then. Like we had like a whole bunch of like fail, con like some conquer and some fail conquerors of, of lands in the South Americas. So history a lot of our history is a lie you know what i'm saying like we got the olmecs that were here those were the black people that were in america not to make it all racial but it is what it is go do your research you know what i'm saying and but the one thing i don't know about just yet the one thing i can't accept as truth just yet but i heard it last night and it really made me think how they said the olmec people didn't have you know a written language but we're finding artifacts more and more like the old makes we saw like the heads just at first but now like we, there was a whole exhibit that showed that there were some of the artifacts that had written characters on them so it's like hmm the old makes didn't have a certain language but now that those characters are being found on the mayans the mayan character uh, uh like uh artifacts so it's like hmm were the mayans real or were they made up see who knows right but these are the things that i do i don't like to throw that stuff out there without me like having my own thought process on it just something to get y'all to think back to the story back to the regularly scheduled program so when we get to America, you know, we are, you know, we have the 13 colonies. Then you get the civil war that happens where the North and South start to fight. That's the split in the middle. You know, we're already, you see splitting is in our nature at a certain point. You know, they, they fight that boom, boom. They duke it out. We get in peaceful, blah, blah, blah. Then we have manifest destiny where now it's East and West. We are spreading and we're constantly expanding to the West and we're doing what we got to do and blah, 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 history, history, good things, bad things. And now we have America. Now we're at the point where like global war warfare to our knowledge anyway once again tinfoil hat but global global warfare is no longer a thing 
So now it's like, well, we're in America and we're consistently growing in these confines. Oh, what else can we grow at? This is where we go to the mental and spiritual warfare. You know, it's like, but like we're always trying to do something different. Now this is where we bring a full circle to the political correctness of our world. You know, we are now, we can't, we're not fighting with guns at the moment, at least in America, yet. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We're not fighting with guns and missiles. We're fighting with our Twitter fingers. But we're more so fighting with our words. We're fighting with our thoughts. You know, for the real hippies out there, we have entered into the world of Aquarius, which is like the time of change or the time of awakening. Don't quote me on that. You know, it's one of those two things. And when there's change, there's growing pains. So now we are facing another division at a mental level, at a spiritual social level, right? Where it's like now we have a whole bunch of different genders that now exist. You know, we got like 80-something genders. We got LGBTQ, hashtag, ampersand, one, two, three, smiley face, sad face. It's like it's getting kind of crazy. But you have to even see it. Even in the LGBTQ community, there's division. You know, gay, lesbian. Why are those two separate letters? If you're gay, you are a lesbian. You're just a gay woman. But you see what I'm saying? Once again, I don't care what you do. I'm just saying stop breaking yourself up. You're, you're in this group be that group but hey it is what it is this is how y'all grow divide and conquer if you will you see it's it's one of those things man where you have to understand there's growing pains think about it like this a company you know a company goes from mom and pop to corporate the people that were here during the mom and pop era they're not going to want to change we as humans don't like change that's why there's the growing pains and sometimes you will when the growing pains, you'll find people that are still trying to act like it's still a mom and pop shop, even though you're acting at a corporate level now. And there's some people that would just say, be able to adapt. You know what I'm saying? We're at the level now where it's like, do you want to keep on fighting and butting your head against the war and fighting with the vocal minority on both sides? Because the, the spectrum is a circle. The spectrum is not a straight line. It's a circle. Because you'll find that the both extremists act like one another. The people in the middle act like one another, but they're right next to each other. You see what I'm saying? So it's a circle. You know, and then there's both people on the opposite sides they just act completely they just do their own thing you know we think like this okay cool we're gonna go live our own lives the people on the other side you know of the circle no let's put it like this right hopefully i can do this with two hands where my fingers meet and and at the other side just imagine there's another break in there you know where there's the two people meet they, these people hate each other this is the liberals the, the top is the liberals the bottom is the conservatives they act just alike you see what I'm saying? They just they just yell at each other about certain things. But the people on this top and the other in the bottom here, you know, they are going to act like, you know, they're on the opposite poles where they're just going to go do their thing. They don't argue with you. They just go live their life with their beliefs. You see what I'm saying? But it's the people that act the most and the vocal minority on both sides are the ones that seem to be dictating society right now. You know, either it be blue hair, Twitter or red pill YouTube. They can go fight each other all they want. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But it's just the growing pains. You know, it's it's the, the change that is inevitable in our world. It's, a, it's inevitable in our DNA. You see what I'm saying? We have to go through these changes to grow. You know, you go through a lot of hard things in life to grow. You see what I'm saying? If you if you persevere through these things, you're going to look back on that. Yo, that was necessary. So these conversations, even though some of them do get very annoying, some of them are very misguided. You know, it's like they still are necessary because it's just as important for you to us to understand which way we need to go as a people. It's just as important to understand which way we don't need to go. You see what I'm saying? So all this growth is inevitable. We we grow and grow and grow, but we need to split to grow. That's in our DNA. That's what we are doing at the small level. That's what we are doing at the, at the universal level. All these things are necessary. All these things are required. You just have to bide, you know, you just have to bide your time. You know, get your get your beliefs, work with them, see if you're being closed-minded, be open-minded to new things. If you completely disagree, don't hate someone else for dis for agreeing with something else. You know, if everyone applied my principle, and it's not mine, but you know, the one I live by, you know, you could do whatever the hell you want to do. You could believe whatever the hell you want to believe. If you're not imposing your will on other people, and if you're not hurting people, why does it matter? You see what I'm saying? Nothing gets done when we sit here and yell at people. Nothing gets done when we, when we are closed-minded. We only want to hear what supports us. You see what I'm saying? You know, it, it's just one of those things, you know, like me and my best friend is my complete opposite. You know, I'm spiritual, hippie, dippy, and black. He's super analytical. You know, he's super analytical, factually based, and white. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? But we are very open-minded, and we disagree on certain things, and we agree on certain things. But with us having this constant conversation, with us teaching things to one another, we get things going. Why can't the world do that? 
it is what it is you know what i'm saying but that's just a few thoughts hopefully i didn't trigger you i'm just trying to get you to think about things and open your mind up to different types of stuff if you were triggered sorry i don't care <laughs> you see what i'm saying it's like we need to all learn adaptability that's something that we all need to learn that's going to be the biggest thing i teach my daughter you can't teach your kid everything you can't teach your kid how to how to think about this and that you can't teach your kid that this and this at a certain point they're going to have to go live their own lives you know what I'm saying? Everyone's going to have their own opinions. You have to adapt. If you're in a room with people that disagree with everything you have to say, learn to either keep on talking or learn how to shut up. A lot of us don't know that last one. You see what I'm saying? Just let them rock. You can believe what you believe and just be open to them. Learn. See where you can add what the opposing side can add to your uh, your arsenal, if you will. You see what I'm saying? You can always learn. It's, you can definitely learn the most from the other side. If you keep focusing your life on things that you like and things that you support, you're going to put yourself in a bubble. And you can't have that. You know what I'm saying? We are constantly growing. We are constantly expanding. Sometimes you have to break apart in your own mind and break some things off of your own mind to let the new stuff in. It all happens at this giant level. So I hope I wasn't all over the place. I hope that made sense. I hope the wind wasn't annoying. But till the next one.